Hold up for your answer. J O N, play me some R and B pimp. Uh oh. You know what he the fuck that means. Yeah, I was an R&B pimp. Oh, we got, man, this nigga be in the lab. We got different levels of pimp. No, okay. it's an R&B pimp. I want to hear the pimp It's a razor. Yeah. Watch this. Told you what? That ain't R&B pimp. You got to hear it first. You want no beat, you got to let me see. No, it ain't. That's one of them ones. That's straight drop off the top. That's dope. Ten. No cap. That's one of them ones. See, I ain't want the shit to no get count. too serious too soon. Cause this is a whole motherfucking tone no that we gotta set. Because this is also, I got a list uh -huh. Uh -huh. of our highly requested gifts. No count. And this thing is highly requested. No count. I was doing some analytics, and you are in the top five percentile mm -hmm. of people who they've been requested no to stop by the show. Now this is the 85 mm -hmm. South Show. Yeah. And this is definitely not no interview. Yeah. People be criticizing us because we get so many guests. We don't interview no goddamn bad. We just be up here talking shit. Kicking. Because they be forgetting. We be knowing the guests before they guess. They guess to y'all. So we'll forget to fuck around and ask you some shit that we know that they would ask you because they ain't going to get the chance to. That's why I had to ask you, did you know that the auntie and the older ladies was fucking with the motherfucking no Jacquees. Count. Did you know that? I ain't know it until we got I done pulled up no at my count. little cougar house. She over there drinking some of that goddamn Stella no Rose. No. Walk around with some. Do, 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 do. No bra on. Both titties out now. No they count. up, but they out. Damn. I'm saying they put up. No cow. But they out. So whatever she had them put up in, they was loosening that motherfucker. Oh, okay. So you knew that under whatever she had on, they was out. Mm. No cap. Come on now. All the kids got them on Instagram singing all the songs. Mm. You know, went crazy no and flipped the whole national anthem. Yeah. It made that motherfucker an African American. I don't want to hear it no other way now. Yeah. Yeah. That was black history to me. Yeah, you know, we named our two no ghetto cow. legends. So we made it a mission <laughs> to go out and try to get all the ghetto legends that we could no get. Cow. And we gonna continue this shit. Real time. Hell yeah. yeah. So it's only right that we had a nigga like you come up in here. No cap. One of the hardest singingest niggas you ever seen. <laughs> Made everybody mad and said, fuck it then. I'm the king of R&B. Uh -huh. And couldn't nobody say shit because a nigga dropped about 30 good ass songs in a row. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> We fuck with you the long way. Yeah, yeah. None other than oh, Jack Queens is the yeah. motherfucking track. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Get all yours, man. Yes, sir. Pop Get all yours. Pop that nigga ain't your friend. That nigga roasted your feet. I did. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. He put some bitches out. My shit ain't got better. Don't, don't keep that. I want to let you know what I did. Ass, he put them out. I forgot about that. Like, that shit went up, though. Yeah, that's why I ain't going to do it. Don't do that. Damn, this shit flow so smooth. I ain't even know we was just doing a real intro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 That's what I'm yeah. We ain't gonna tell you three, two, one. Yeah, this big ass tell like that. Big ass tell like that. We ain't gonna tell you three, two, one. Yeah, big ass tell like that. 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 Big ass tell like Welcome to 85 Ways Studio. That shit fire. Yeah. Who the fuck put the man? Bro, that's my black market bill. Give me okay, that, man. That's that people know the black market. Uh, you confusing the audience. That shit feels different. I'm like, who the fuck is not ringing the bell, bro? What the fuck? Starting this year off right, man. What's been up? The album just dropped. Mm -hmm. Pop it, pop it, y'all. Wow. Wow. December 16th, sincerely for you. Uh, it's executive produced by Future. Mm -hmm. Just dropped a video to it. Pluto. Yeah, yeah, Pluto. All right. Just, he uh, the executive producer. Yeah. So oh. that nigga was in there with you, like, oh no, John, hit that bitch again. <laughs> <All right. laughs> tight, tight shit. But you know, we putting a lot of work ourselves too. But you know, Pluto that a. You know, just be like, yeah, this one, you know, use that. Don't do that. Put this on there. This your second album with that future uh, EP, huh? Nah, nah, this the this the this the first one. You know, I don't work with him on other albums, but mm -hmm. this the first one that he like put his name behind it, like, mm -hmm. like I'm a part of this type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's cold, cause you know we usually see you do a lot of shit by yourself. Yeah, right. So now you know to, to have that reach out. What what made you trust him with the project? The whole project this time. Yeah, just cause, you know, the only other album he ever executive produced was for Kanye. So I'm like, shit, if he wanna do mine, I'll be a part of that. You know, like when yes, they man. when they start to name all the albums Future did, it's just 
gonna be Kanye and Jacquees. And then on top of that, even if he ain't do it for Kanye, I would've still let him do mine, cause how talented bro is. You know, and mm -hmm. bro know music, you know, future like a living legend when we talking about music, for real. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and he know what's going on. He stay on the top charts, so I, I want to be a part of that. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I fuck with Future, man. Yeah, when I was hosting uh, Old National, mm -hmm. This is before the shit blew up. Astronaut status. Oh, oh yeah. Motherfucker, hey, I had Astronaut about- Astronaut status! I had about three boxes of them shits. Like this- oh, Mixtape. Yeah, cause you know, I used to I give got, them out. I got on. At the, um, at the comedy show. Mm-hmm. As soon as I heard that bit, like that first day I got it, I played that bitch all the way through. Just sitting at the crib, you know. Fucking got to play it all the way through. I was like, this bit hidden. By the time I got the itching, Itching on astronaut status. That's, that's, the, last that's the last yeah. motherfucking song on there. When I heard that for the first time, I knew that shit was out of there. Man, I knew, I knew he was he was hot. Cause the crazy part about the Will of Fool, man. If people who was in the industry then back then doing music, you had to go through Will of Fool or be engineered by Will of Fool. You gotta get a beat by Will of Fool, DJ Plug, or the beat monster motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And none of them trap, but he was only doing. 808 Mafia, too. 808 Mafia was, see, they, them niggas were known for like, they, people were sending their beats to 808 Mafia, and they was like revamping them and making them better. That's, what mm. that's why they called 808 Mafia, because they were known for the kick. Everybody was using the 808s. You, see you know the other nigga, other nigga, I ain't seen him in a minute. Who? Lex Luthor. Oh, that Lou, that Lou, dude. That motherfucker. He used to do a lot of Rick Ross shit then. Yeah. But Will the Fool was the nigga in the city. <laughs> yeah. He the one who gave like, he had the sauce. Yeah, he done jumped the whole conversation off. <laughs> <laughs> now, that nigga, the other nigga. But when the fool was the nigga, right. he, he the one who jumped the whole shit on. And everybody had to go through him to actually get his shit. Brother, Atlanta, Atlanta music scene is crazy, but it ain't a lot of R&B mm -mm. in the scene. What, what is going on with the R&B game, Fly? I mean, shit, Jack Queen, you know, he the, he the nigga who had it down for the city when yeah. it come to R&B for a long time. What you think the problem is? I don't know. Don't nobody want to sing. Everybody want to rap. Schooler was singing. Yeah, hey. Schooler was singing. singing. But Schooler singing, it was like his own style. It was his like own it wasn't like it wasn't like the traditional type R &B of R&B facts. Like it was that street, you was used to. Street swag. He kind of was hard me though. like a new version of like CeeLo Green. Cause you know, like he don't just be singing shit. Like he got, it's a lot of passion. It's a, right. you feel a lot of aggression. Like a lot of, shit. yeah. It's like he's saying more with just nigga. I'm singing like right. nigga. I'm really singing this shit. You was like more so like R&B melody. Harmonizing, really giving them folk that business. Yeah, we did a record together. We never dropped it though. We don't be dropping. We ain't dropping. Like, yeah, it, it, it was, it was, it was Schooly record. We did it uh probably like 2000. We did this shit probably like 2013. We just got out of high school. That shit still hard. Yeah, it's hard. Of course, one thing about a lot of shit, that shit don't know age. Bro, how you start singing? I start singing cause um I wanted to rap like everybody else's shit. What was your rap name? It was just Lil Kui. Lil Kui? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Lil Kui. Yeah, it was just Lil Kui. I had the cash money chain, all that shit back then. Back then? Yeah, yeah, I bought it from the beauty supply. Right there next to us. Uh, Look how you talk that shit in, what? I swear to God. That crazy. Bro. What, was the name of the, what was the name of the uh, grocery store back in the day? Which one? Not not uh the one off uh, Metropolitan? Nah, I'm talking about this was over here on the south. It was called... uh. Damn, what's the name of some, some... Wayfield? Wayfield. Wayfield. Yeah, when you said South, that's what Yeah, Wayfield. it was called Wayfield right next to that shit. And I remember I had that. And uh, after that, I started, of course, because I seen Wayne and all them. But then I seen Michael Jackson. And I'm like, damn, he hard. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't just rap. He's singing. Hold up, like, nigga, you seen Lil Wayne before you seen Michael Jackson? Yeah. You got to think, I'm born in 94. Damn, we got to get better as black people. Yeah. <laughs> I seen Wayne first. You feel shit. me? Oh, and look, then, we gotta stop right there. <laughs> I wanna just look at the camera and just say, Black America, what the fuck is we doing? <laughs> so, you we lose the like, recipe yeah, like a motherfucker. You probably feel yeah, like he discovered that nigga. Wait, y'all gotta check this new nigga out. I, I knew Eminem before Tupac. Oh, ain't shit no way. The fuck ain't up. no goddamn That's way, Fly. <laughs> oh, I'm at, I know what I'm doing this summer. <laughs> I'm teaching a course on blackness. <laughs> no Starting kidding. right with the music. Sit, bring your ass in and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Y'all went from Michael Jackson, Eminem, Tupac. That's a hell of a, whoa, that's fucked up. I went up. from Wayne, Mike, Tupac. Ooh. I went from Michael Jackson, motherfucker, seeing ABC. What's the first Michael Jackson song you heard? Heard, uh, <clears throat> I Want You Back. Okay, okay. At least they gave you a classic off the top. Yeah. Shit. I had Child Mike. Yeah, that, that was that was child Mike. No, I'm talking about like feeding child Mike. Santa Claus coming to 
the dark, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had that one. That was me. Y'all niggas didn't watch movie. Free Willy growing up? Man, I'm listening to Santa Claus coming to town in May. My oh, what's Free Willy? Free Willy? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it had to have Santa Claus. He said, what Free Willy? How'd that go? He ain't never oh, seen Free Willy. Oh, man, we got I so much shit to catch. Up. See, that's the problem with the gen. You see the generational gap? They don't have no fucking idea what was going on before they was born. Let Uncle Los tell you what Free Willy is. <laughs> <laughs> it was this white boy. Uncle Los. Broke is a motherfucker. He was poor, no. and they made a movie about a poor white person. They don't do that shit no more. Listen, so Free Willy, this white boy, fucked around and adopted a whale. In some kind of way, the whale knew that he belonged to the little white boy. So the little white boy went on a mission to Free Willy. <laughs> Willy head got capped. They like, he got caught, and they was making the nigga perform for fish and shit, and it just made the white boy real sad. Some kind of way. That white boy got in contact with some Michael Jackson music. Next thing you know, goddamn, Willie is free. And he done jumped over the white boy head and slow mo. It was beautiful. And Willie a whale. Willie's a motherfucking whale. A killer whale at that. So the nigga went back to the wild to kill. He, whatever he did, he did it because he was free. It's really, a, it's really the animal version of Green Mile. If you ever seen Green Mile, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what it is. With the big name. Yes. I didn't too. I ain't seen it. You ain't yeah. seen Green Mile? Bro, you been locked up? Nah. <laughs> you I seen just, shit? <laughs> what the hell you mean? I right? just ain't never no wondered you were so good when at I, shit. When I was watching movies and shit, I wouldn't watch shit like that. Green oh. Mile? Nah. Oh, you I gotta just, see that. Did, What's your favorite movie, bro? bro? My yeah. favorite movie, The Wood. <laughs> You let that nigga Terry ball. <laughs> that shit crazy. That's your favorite? The wood, yeah, that one's your favorite. That's your favorite? The wood, yeah. Time for it. Money talk. Yeah, that's a good one. But, uh, it's the wood, then Friday. I mean, everybody got Friday. Friday got it again. All them nights? Nah. You don't fuck with all them nights? Life? Probably ain't. I, life, 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 I don't think life, I ever seen shit. all them nights. I don't want life on a goddamn day. I don't day. think I ever seen it. Yo, that's one what? of the funniest movies they ever well, made. Well, New York City. I just seen New, New Jack City. Show that big son of bitch how y'all does it in Harlem now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Still not that. <laughs> I don't know none of that. What? Life? Life? Oh, no, life. Yeah, yeah, oh, life. Oh. Yeah, I know life. I watched the shit about a million times. Oh, yeah. But well, then they crawled that gun line. Nigga got tired of nigga home that week. I can't go home. I can't go home. You gotta go home that week. My mama can't see me like this. Bitch, <laughs> 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 The best acting in that whole movie was done by Bernie Mac after them niggas shot Bitch. Snatched him up. He got him up. That nigga was slow, don't go on. We all nigga is so good, bro. That nigga is so good, that nigga back. Your mama gonna be happy to see you any kind of way, man. You chill. That nigga ran that nigga ran that nigga. Man, what's wrong with you, man? You better go home. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> my mama ain't gonna let you like me like that no more. That shit probably was different then than I'm 30s. It was a month. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like it. Boy, you go home like that. <laughs> hey, he might have had every reason to cross that guy. Yeah. That, girl, <laughs> that nigga grinned and told him before he left, don't bring your sweet ass back. <laughs> <laughs> and your name ain't Jackson, no goddamn boy, neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you dead. <laughs> That's how you know old niggas serious, bro. When a nigga say I'm gonna kill you dead. Nigga, that's what's gonna happen yes, once you die. You stupid, bro. Turn this shit up to another level. Welcome back to the 85 okay. South Show. <laughs> Hell yeah, voted the number one show amongst people who use wash rags. <laughs> <laughs> With the ridges on them? Cause you know, I, I don't you know ever fucked dishes. up and took a shower with a dish rag? <laughs> I do that all the time. They get the dirt off you. That Never shit mind. don't hold the water. What? That yes, dish rag. Nah. You be like, ooh, the new ridges, bud. No, I'm <laughs> clean. <laughs> That's fucked up. Till he say, okay. Y'all don't think that? Nah, because one time I fucked around and, and tried to hit the, the nuts with the dish. I'm like, no, what the fuck? I thought that shit be Brillo pad hard. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm going to rip my sack. No. <laughs> you can't use the, uh, what they did, the sponge? Oh, what the, that shit uh, is? Lo loofah. What they call it? Is it called a loofah? Yeah, something like that. I always just call it a sponge. I met the African girl. She got this, this body sponge. It's, it changed your whole, I'll put y'all on, man. No don't care. Yeah, real shit.
up? It's your man Carlos Miller. And look, I'm telling everybody to go over to bluechew.com and sign up using the promo code 85SOUTH so you can get your first month free if you pay for the shipping. Now, the shipping is only $5. Life don't have to be hard unless you make it. You get what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, right? You catching my drift? So look, go to bluechew.com, use the promo code 85SOUTH, pay $5 shipping, and guess what? You doing your thing like you already knew you would be. So you can go to bluechew.com, go get you some, use my promo code 85SOUTH, pay $5 shipping, and you back in the game. Right back where you needed to be. Go on now. Go ahead. Get out of here. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we would like to thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. June 10th. Where we we going? Chesapeake Employers Insurance, Insurance Arena. Arena. Ah! Man, nigga must have just bought that. That shit sound like a defect building, man. man. Hell yeah. In Baltimore, and that's, that's in Baltimore, too. Name. That's on the Avenue. Insurance. Chesapeake Insurance. What else is it? Arena. Arena, Chesapeake is yours. I left the word out, but they got they got three bins in Don't one bill. Buy one ticket, <laughs> buy two tickets. You buy how many? Two. And get some insurance while you're at it, cause y'all then ain't got no life insurance. Get a few tickets, a few tickets, and we gonna be selling hot dogs. <laughs> That's how they say it. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs on the avenue. <laughs> You dig it? Once well, you we, buy a few tickets. Uh huh. You gonna get some hot dirt. And some insurance, bitch. Some insurance. Chesapeake <laughs> Insurance Arena, Baltimore. Yes, June sir. 10th. I can't wait for Baltimore. Who you got on your prize pick? Man, that's what I'm trying to see, man. I'm trying to get my prize picks together right now, man. Um, I take Devin Booker. Man, you know he gonna put something up. Yeah. You know, I gotta ride with my boy Jai, man. You know, he 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 come he he never disappoints. Now I be betting on all kind of stuff like the three pointer made, the rebounds. Like oh, I, I get be, on the rebounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. if you seven foot, boy, you you better pull in something, dog. Bro, I can't believe people don't know about this, man. They paying out too, and they giving you up to a hundred dollars matching. That's how I got started. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you put a hundred, they yeah. gave you a hundred. Yeah. Then you had two hundred. Where you at now? How much you want? I can't talk about that. For tax purposes? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I don't want nobody asking me nothing. How you play, man? How you? Prize hey, pick. Hey, man, pick. <clears throat> this is the beauty of it, though. You can, you can pick your favorite player. Yeah. You can rock with them. They don't have to be your favorite. Well, there's some players I believe in. I just don't believe in their team. Right. Yeah. So you can bet on the individual players. Right. All their stats. Whatever you know the most about, that's where you're going to get the bread at, bro. Now, they really done took it to a whole nother level, though, because it's like right there. Look, this is where I'm at with it. Oh, yeah, you in there. I flipped $100 a hundred times. You in there. What's the lowest you can bet? Let's see. If you're doing that, you probably shouldn't be doing it. If, if you got if you got to go to the Yeah, loan. if you bet a dollar, you can win three. Don't do it if it's your last dollar. <laughs> but f*** it. I mean, what you going to do with that dollar anyway? <laughs> trying to win that three million. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't know about that. Yeah, you can go up to however much you can stand on prize picks. I'm on that now. Yeah. What you doing? Get on there. Hey, make sure you go hit the website, Prize Picks, and use the promo code 85SELF. One of the coldest apps out. One of the dopest, like, you can bet in-game, first half, second half, rebounds, no. points, assists, tripping falls, how many times the hot dog man going to come through. And it ain't just sports. Yeah. You can bet on Call of Duty. They got um, <clears throat> FIFA. Race car driving. But now what's, we back in naming sports. With Hold the on. soccer. You can bet on comedians who can make you laugh. No, that's Oh, we no, gotta no. be in it. We gotta, no, no, we no, gotta no, have no. some good ass eyes. We I'm gotta be playing. favorite. You can bet on MMA, tennis, but I'm trying to learn a little. I, you know, I'm on the hockey too, real bad. I'm, I'm still rocking with the Ducks. Ain't nobody rocking with my boys from Anaheim. The Mighty Ducks? Yeah, ain't no other Ducks. Oh, oh with the Oregon, but yeah. that's college. It's all good, bro. I'm about to see what I, what I can pull off. Look, I'm really on prize picks right now. I don't know what you doing. Oh man, I done showed y'all my balance. Blur it out. Blur that, blur that. Blur it out. Blur that out. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't take no bad like them crocker do. I ain't just soap. I gotta have a rag under my shit. Like you sweat? Nah, just a 
somebody else might want to use the soap. You don't put it all on your neck. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's the that's, that's, that's that's you At your house, you only got one soap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> what do you be saying some weird shit? I mean, I mean, I come from we use the same soap. Yeah, y'all got one soap? Huh? Y'all got one so soap? You just have everybody have a soap. That's how I'm living. I had a bunch of people, but I know what I'm saying. I ain't grow up. I didn't grow up like that. You soap. Everybody yeah, I use that soap. soap. I grow up with everybody use water. I got some good pussy soap at the crib. Tell yeah. Everybody use the same water. Yeah, I went, I went second all the time. Huh? Yeah. The first one ain't really ain't taking no bad. I wouldn't say it. My nigga, you be using this show as therapy, don't you? I do. Tell the truth. I do. Cause he be saying some shit and just act like it's normal. Make, make a nigga have to think about it. I was glad my sister got the hell on. So fly. If somebody take a bath too long, the water might be cold on you. Yeah, and my mom make you get in. <laughs> That's some bullshit. What? Get nah, in. Yeah, though. Get in. You like, man. Hey, <laughs> man. This shit cold as fuck. Gotta say that water, bad, say bad. that hot so water. So it went no rotation. It just one, one good, one good, one good one. One good run. Cause I went up with two kids, my oh, me and okay. my sister. So, but so that is not enough people for y'all to have to be sharing no fucking water. Ain't but two never kids. I'm, I, I never get first. I, I gotta go see. Man, bullshit. I'm, you bullshit. That, y'all had enough water for two kids. <laughs> or you just do it like shit. Me and my sister used to have to take, take it out together. When we were kids. We did that too? Yeah, we Until it was my turn to go second. But how old do it stop? I knew it needed to stop when I asked my mom what the fuck that was. <laughs> she got, I said, what that is? He <laughs> said he got it stuck. <laughs> Why is a lot of hair down there, Mom? Like, yeah, man, that too, that too old, man. You see, you should have just left that shit alone. You made him keep going. That was, going. That was the key. Know. My mom was like, yeah, it's time to do that. I'm like, who the fuck you keep putting me in there for? Hey, when you look up and see sunshine, yeah. that shit over with. Like, what you doing? They yeah. laughing, but this is going to sound like trauma on the internet. Yeah, trauma. That's why I love man, our you show. It's the therapy. Hell, therapy. <laughs> Bro, that way when I grew up, I be like, bro, it's a lot of shit. I'm like, yo, that's <laughs> not normal. That nigga said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Man, you thought rice came from pigs. What? That ain't normal. Somebody told me and I ran with it. Damn. Bro, you really think you know somebody? <laughs> that's why I yeah. love to learn, because I realized a lot of the shit motherfucker told me was bull. Nigga, if you believe some shit like that, it's gonna be easy to impress I was a you. Kid. With... Oh. You could have came up and said anything. A clown is coming to your birthday party. I'm saying that shit for three years straight. What did that for? I don't fucking know. A clown <laughs> coming to my birthday party. I don't know when somebody told me. But he coming. I remember one time I had a birthday party in the project. All the drug dealers came, gave everybody $5. I was a legend. It was the best birthday party ever. That lit. Everybody had a little five. We all, it was a picture somewhere. <laughs> everybody at the birthday party holding up a $5. For real? Shit, gangster. When I threw a party, nobody oh. come. Damn. <laughs> I said, I'm a, I'm a bad party promoter. I ain't doing this shit, that shit. <laughs> I tried one time to see if I was a party nigga. I was like, nah, I ain't no party nigga. <laughs> Damn. This is what we need. You know, we you need, need like platforms like, where black nah. men can, can discuss shit like this. Because there's a lot of motherfucking podcasts out right now. Niggas is out here giving other niggas terrible relationship advice. Man. Have you seen this shit? <laughs> Why you stupid here? Yeah. He laughing, but he hurt. Ain't nobody <laughs> That's trauma. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to show up. How are you up, Fly? I'm on 12. <laughs> <laughs> Did nobody come to the nigga park? They were like, we're well, about four on, but we ended up looking like the kids from recess. <laughs> I was like, but y'all my friends for real. <laughs> <laughs> that when I knew I wasn't no part of the nigga, bro. Yeah, I mean, niggas fuck with me, but they ain't trying to fuck with me like outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that be cool in school. I ain't going to your barn. I ain't just pulling up. <laughs> you just think I'm going to your barn. <laughs> you you my class homeboy, nigga. <laughs> my school friend. Yeah, you school partner, nigga. <laughs> fuck the shit outside I'm of school. I'm fucking around the bus to go out. You're going to outside of school. He think I'm coming to Hey, that nigga was at home writing a list. He not coming, he nigga, coming. Nigga, I put it off flyers. <laughs> I passed him around the whole school. Yeah. Get it out, man. Why well, I passed out like 400 times? I know that hurt. Nigga, I went for every grade that was sick grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. I passed it out. Everybody told me they were coming. That's what sold it. 
it, it, was, was it bad weather? It was, like, it was like a party X type party. Everybody was like, ooh, I'm coming. I think it was last notice. What I did was, I did it the day Ace. before, but I told him on the back, I need an adult per every four people. Cause it was at David Bust. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave too many rooms in the <laughs> Yeah, but I'm kidding. Like, one of the like you just walking around and motherfuckers seeing if they don't show up yet. Maybe they went straight to the gone. bumper car. It was number four people. Damn. He hurt. So but you. that shit was too funny, bro. Why, man? Did you recover the next year or what? Oh, I said fuck parties. I'm just gonna be the cool nigga who just don't throw parties. Oh. Cause I'm finna lose my coolness if I try to throw another yeah. party. It's gonna, it's gonna be a rap. They gonna Jay be like, why are you trying to throw parties, buddy? Just go to they shit. Yeah, just go to they shit to be the cool nigga. Pop your nah, shit. I tried to overpopularize myself. Yeah, you spread yourself way too was, thin on no, that. No, sir. Bitch. You stupid, bro. <laughs> you ain't threw a party since then, bro. What are you no, sir? <laughs> hey, man. Whoever didn't show up at my partner's 12th Fuck birthday all party, man. Fuck that shit. Nigga, we up. <laughs> they watched the show now. They Nigga, they coming. coming to the show, so they still coming to the party. Oh, man. <laughs> no cap. Bro, what's the new single off the new album, my nigga? Uh, When You Bad Like That Right Now. That's the one with Future. Why, we why, just why, shot why the video. Why you picked up? Shit, really? I don't know, probably because it had Pluto on it, honestly. And it's just a feel-good record. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, it just feel like that. Like, it feel like right now. Feel good. I don't know. I got another one. We might go with two. We got a video for that now too, so it just all made sense. Like right now, do the one with Future, Future executive producer. It feel good. It feel like some new John mm -hmm. you know. But it feel familiar. But it just feel like something we need right now. R and B. Man, take us back. Take us back. I want to know. Like you said, you you were rapping. How did Jacquees? <laughs> Not find, seriously, though. Well, I know, but how did Jacquees say, you know what, I'm a trans? Because that's a big transition to say, I right, fuck rap. Because I remember when I just had to literally not say fuck rap, but I was like, you know But what? I was just a nigga rapping in the neighborhood. R&B right? is better. I, I had never seen a microphone or none of that shit. Right. I was just in the neighborhood of my niggas. Like, we had a we had a song we used to sing and shit. Right, so, so we had backup niggas early. Yeah, this was right over oh, here. Really? I stayed in a neighborhood called Catherine Valley over here. I thought I was a fucking rapper. All right. Then I just seen Michael Jackson, and I'm like, oh yeah, he look like me. Like, let me see what he doing. I heard him saying, I'm like, yeah, insulate you. Going through. He threw me off with this. He look like me. I'm I like, seen what the a, fuck I Michael Jackson used to I seen the kid, Michael, before the old Michael Jackson. I seen the little one first. Michael was already white. Michael Jackson was already white. See, I ain't see that yet. I ain't see that yet. I seen the kid. Michael white, white. Then I seen the adult. See, I saw the movie first, too. Which one? The American Dream. Oh, boy. Oh, so he yeah. thought Jason Weaver was Michael Jackson. Low key. Oh, okay, okay, Shout okay. out to Jason Weaver. Yeah. He was just up here. Yeah, damn near. <laughs> damn near thought he was Mike. Oh, oh this nigga legendary is on right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, no, he, he played the hell out of Mike. Bro, you know how fucking cold know you gotta be for Michael later. Jackson to pick you to play the dark skin him? Right. Oh, Mike picked the, the characters? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. His folks picked him. Mike's mama picked him. Oh, yeah, that's all. She picked the right one, though. That shit was hard. He sold that shit. Yeah, yeah. He sold that shit. So after that, what? How it started? Okay. After that, then I got in the talent show. So uh, we moved to Decatur from, from on this side. We moved to Decatur, got in a talent show in my elementary school and won. Once I won, it was just like, I won every year. Mm. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Right. Then I stopped doing it. And it was just, I got in the... Uh, Niggas knew they wouldn't be you. Yeah, I got in the theater, <laughs> all type of shit. I just started taking this shit for real. Like, after I was nine, then I got my mama behind me. My mama always supported me. You started taking this shit serious when you yeah. were nine? Yeah, once I was nine, then... Boy, this nigga here, You've been doing this shit now. Yeah, then after that, it just became like, oh, Jacquees the singer. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the buddy who sang. Like, you gotta think my boy right there, Egg in the, in the brown hoodie, he know, he done knew me since day one with this singing shit. Like, I came to day school, they had to wear uniforms, all type of shit. Like, I was like, yeah, I ain't wearing no uniform, I ain't doing none of this shit. I'm gonna be a singer, but I'm gonna do all my work and shit. Like, boom, boom, that's just so you how I'm wearing your regular clothes. Yeah, yeah, it's principal, let me do that shit, the teachers, everybody. And why everybody else wear uniform, you in regular clothes? Yeah, yeah. Sang to the hole. Exactly. God damn it. That shit worked, that bro. Shit I, ain't, I ain't. But you gotta think, the kids didn't even feel no type of way for real. Like, they used to say shit, but they ain't used to right. take it against me. They were like, well, shit, Jacquees, he cool, he be singing, he dressed good, shit, fuck it. He our friend, too, fuck it. And they just started supporting that shit. You just ain't never throw no party. Shit. <laughs> Did I, I threw a party. You threw a party? When I turned 
16. Oh, see, I was already at the party. Yeah. Yeah. My shit was lit. He popped enough. I was at the party game yeah. right there. 16. Yeah, I'm saying 16. I ain't throw no house parties and shit, because I used to want everybody to be in my spot. Facts. I used to go to everybody's shit, though. I used to be in everybody's hood, every Facts. party. Niggas know, like, from 06, 08, 09, 05, all you that shit. It. Yeah, nigga know I'm all up and down the east side, everywhere. And I just started taking it serious. Like what I say, like where I'm from, everybody just supported. Right. Like it was niggas that was coming before us, like Travis Porter. Like right. they was from my side. Like they was coming up. They used to come get their hair cut in the barbershop and shit. I used to, I was there when they had their first mixtape, the Black Boy, White Boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they was, I was there the day quest, them came in that bitch passing them out. You know what I'm saying? And telling them like, man, I'm a scene too. So when I dropped my first shit, they jumped on mine. Right. I used to be in a fire drill at Towers, come out. See them niggas cross the street, cause uh, one of them boys' grandma stayed across the street from Towers. So we see them niggas like, boy, they go Travis Porter, boy. You feel me? Like, well, we yeah. gotta, we gotta get our shit together. Like these niggas right here, right. like you know what I'm saying? These niggas from here. That shit was inspiration. Just seeing them boys, and it was other people used to come to the barber shop, like niggas like J Money used to pull up. But you know, seeing J Money when you're young, yeah, I was in the, I was in that video. I was in a. Uh, what song? Lane. Yeah, I was in Fernand Lane. For real? Yeah, I'm in that video. Oh, I gotta go see. Yeah. Hey, I gotta go listen to this shit. One of that nigga video. come through and push us with the books and shit. Oh, for real? Okay, yeah, I gotta go check it out. Me and Issa did that video. It was this down there. It was down there at Morris Brown this College. How we play? What? Atlanta had a milk, but we wasn't fucking with nobody else. I don't give a fuck where you from. We played up. straight Atlanta shit. Yeah, that shit was going for like good 18 years. That's all you want to hear in the club. Good and I was starting to get the producers to fuck with me. That what it was too. I was getting the DJs to fuck with me. All the, all the hood, all the hood rich DJs like right. DJ Spins. Right. DJ Scream. Had, so you yeah, was in the DJ Scream like, with all that with the media spin, like the media platforms and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. I remember when we was pulling up on DJ Scream and mm -hmm, nigga mm -hmm. ain't know who I was, like giving me a hard time. You feel me? Like a super hard time in that bitch. Like just imagine you in there with all these niggas down some straight gangster shit. You a young nigga, you from like you just a young nigga. Right. Like, you, you from the you same shit, but you, yeah, you the baby, but right. then nigga like, hey man, what you do? You know, introduce yourself. You like shit, I'm Jack Queef. Ooh, I'm looking for them. They like, that's it. That's how he's doing. Like, keep talking. Did it? You feel me? I used to, I used to say so short and sweet if he want to get out of there and just sit in my own spot. I used to always just wait my turn, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it was tough though. Like, you know, being around all that shit and just still remaining who you is and shit. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Cause you gotta think. Before I was with Cash Money, I was with Block. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? With Block and all them niggas over there with Jody, Gorilla mm -hmm. Zoe, all that. Mm -hmm. Went through Big that. Block, East Side shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was with him with all that shit. Uh, Fuck it with Fly, with T.I.G. Right, right, you know right. I was, I was been through a lot of the loops in Atlanta. You know, I was fucking with other people like Chef Harper, who got toast. He mm -hmm. had some shit going. After I left Block, I went over there with him and his mans. We mm -hmm. was trying to get some shit going. So it's been a whole bunch of shit, bro. Like, to get the cash money, to get to where I am now. Shit been crazy. Rich gang. Going your girl Lex P and I have a very special announcement. Well, I already announced it, but I'm gonna let y'all know again, we are going on tour. It's starting in June, y'all. Look, we announcing it extra early so y'all got time to get your tickets. No excuses. We got LA, Philly, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston. Now, listen to me, cause I know how y'all get. We are still adding dates. I repeat, we are still adding dates, but if you see your city right now, go ahead and get your tickets. If you don't see your city, don't worry, we still coming, okay? So make sure y'all go to www.poorminds.com and get y'all VIP meet and greets. We outside, poo.
Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller, and April 15th, I will be in Nashville at the War Memorial Auditorium. Yeah, pull up on me, act like you need me, and holler at the player when you see me. It's going down in Nashville, that's April 15th. Click the link, get those tickets. I ain't never let you down, don't you let me down. Sell this shit out, yeah. I'm crazy, so, yeah, how, yeah. so how do you remain, cause I see that like, you, you, I watched the journey. Yeah, hey, yeah, you were there. I was there. You got to think, when I dropped my uh, my first shit I sold, it was called 19. I did the release at Clark Atlanta. This nigga was there. I had just started seeing, bro, because his videos were starting to go up on the internet. And I right. seen, bro, I'm like, damn, this nigga here. I'm like, I'm like hey, what's bro, up, he said you coming. What you, I'm what, like, bro, what you say? I'm like, bro, you got to buy my shit. He like, well, I ain't got no motherfucking money, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this shit. I was like, damn, all right, I'm going to fuck with you. Nigga, that was that was about nine years ago. No cap. I was nineteen, bro. I wasn't even twenty-one. Couldn't even drink legally. Like, I remember watching him coming in the in the the, on the college campus, and the 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 the, the bitches going crazy. It's like a pack. Why you changing from girls to bitches? (laughs) You had to think about that. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't want to be like (laughs) y'all. But he was a bitch. We in fresh college. Man, they were going dumb. They Clark. were going dumb, bro. <laughs> he was a bitch. <laughs> he was a bitch girl. I was gonna say that. Some nasty bitches at night. Oh, you feel what I'm saying? Good girls in the day club are nasty bitches at night. Okay? Straight up. For but, that moment. For that moment. But it was like, dang, bro. This nigga going in like, cause you gotta understand, uh, the young superstar. If you always had some type of stardom when you were young, you always thought you was Michael Jackson. Goddamn. Orlando Brown, cause he was our kid star back in the day. Like, yeah, any the kid day. star? You stupid, bro. <laughs> Real talk, though. No. Yeah, but it back. was like, you was still a kid. Yeah. So I was just like, damn, bro, he got that shit early. You know, when you probably get fame, you quote unquote be grown already, 20s and 30s. No, That's nigga, the illusion of it. I know, but when you bow out, Romeo, when yeah. these niggas famous at 16, 17, nigga. <laughs> You really adult? You can tell an adult what to do for real, for real. But it was just like watching my boy do that shit at an early age. That shit was always fascinating, bro. Yeah. Like, no cap. That like, shit was like, what are you gonna say? Bow wow shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a Jackson shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, y'all oh, get on it. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure, man. Your you family knew you could sing before you got damn started? Like, before yeah. you even made the transition? Because you said you started trying to rap first. Yeah. But your family, they ain't ever like, boy, you can sing your ass off. Hell yeah, yeah. You got to think, like, even before, like, I was singing, it was always like, he could do something. Like, I used to bet my partners, like, bro, I bet we go in the store. I bet somebody know who I am. Like, I'm like, bro, I bet, uh, I bet 10 somebody know who I am. We walk in Kroger. And then you'll come down the street, like, they'll be like, damn, you Jack Queens, ain't you? Like, you can, see, you can sing and shit, right? And my crib and shit, my, I, I got a big sister, her name Rizzy, so she was with the older kids and shit like that, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, you know, older dudes she talked to might have come in the house and be like, wait, little brother hard, because them niggas see me outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, nah, Queen Hard, I seen them singing in front of the barbershop, like, those niggas fight for real. <laughs> Man, you want you know them sing that sing everywhere. That's how I got found, I was singing in front of Kroger on Western Chapel, a nigga seen me, and he was like, man, I'm gonna put you with somebody, bro. I was just out there singing by the payphone and shit, just out there singing. He was like, bro, I'm gonna put you somebody. Just cause, nigga? Just cause. I was just the singer in the neighborhood, and I knew I could blow. So I'm just like, so you was like, hold up, so you were like shit. a walking juke joint, like just, <laughs> it don't matter where you Nigga, was, I was the nigga, I used to go in the beauty salon with, my, with the hat. Really like, asking for tips? Hell yeah, getting them. Hey. Why the fuck I didn't do that? What was your go-to song, though? <laughs> it was I want you back. Oh, okay. and I had you to myself. I didn't want you around. Take that boy good. That shit. Take your hat off. That boy good. Hey, you got no money. You say that name well, you man. Come <laughs> <laughs> anytime you over this way. <laughs> stop through here, man. We got some money. And women hey. love that type of shit. That's how that shit went. And they watched me grow up too, so it's like yeah. it went from like I was doing that shit singing. That was that was my boy Sid. Shout out to Sid. That was his shop. I forgot the name, I think called Beauty Effects or some shit. My boy Rick, OG of the Barbershop, took me down there the first time to do it, but I started getting confident going down there by myself, and when I met this guy named Exquisite, mm-hmm. he introduced me to this guy named Dex Lee. When I, like, like I said, I was out there singing, he like, man, I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. Mm-hmm. 
he took me to meet this guy named Dex, and this back in the day, like when you would do three songs on a CD, like the mm -hmm, demo. Mm -hmm. And uh, clean, dirty, and just nothing. yeah, yeah. So boom, I had a partner named Joe in the neighborhood. I'm like Joe, bro. I don't found a studio. You feel me, like bro? You gotta come with me. Like these folks finna got down, do something. Yeah. I seen him in the bar show, so he like, bet I got this song called Girl in My Life. He started singing it. I'm like, oh, I gotta get on it. You feel me? We gotta put this shit on the demo I'm gonna do. You feel me? So I remember I went home and we had these little books. You remember the books we would get in school, like the little workbooks, but in the Come back in. you got some, not nah, loud. I'm talking about the workbooks. Right. But in the back you got like two, three sheets that ain't got shit on them. Right, right. I mean, I wrote the, my lyrics on the back of that. I remember I was in the bathroom just writing my shit up there where my mom in the room was at, just writing that shit. Went to the studio and recorded that shit. I was trying to put everybody on. Took my other partner from school named D. Mm -hmm. I'm like, D, come with us. You gonna rap on that bitch? Cause he was trying to be a rapper. Nigga, we in the eighth grade. Right. I'm like, come to the studio. I'm gonna pitch nigga up from right across the street from Prime Time. Y'all been on the east side before. He stayed in the apartments across the street from Prime Time. Pick, bro. We all in the car going to the studio. I think my mama taking us on the shit. Right. I'm like, bro, we gonna go in and kill this shit. Joe go in there and kill that shit. I go in there and kill that shit. Right. My nigga dig it on there and choke. I'm like, Fuck. no. My nigga choke or whatever. So my boy Squizzit, who introduced me to all this shit, he like, little bro, I, I be rapping. I get on that bit with y'all just right. to, cause you wanna rap on it. Right. Got on that bit, printed the CDs, start putting that bitch out. Girl in my life became like a song in my neighborhood that was just like big as fuck. Like, you know, like when MySpace was going on, right. that shit was big. Like, nigga, I'm talking about big where I can go somewhere and sing that shit. Everybody will start singing that right, shit. I'm right. starting to do that shit, do that shit, and that just went to something else. Dex introduced me to a guy named Orlando. Mm -hmm. Orlando's still on my team today. Orlando, we was doing our thing. Um, he took me to meet Block. And from there, phew, the whole shit just went up. Went up, but it started right there on Western Chapel, just singing in Kroger Park, singing in Kroger Plaza. Everybody ever just be like, ain't no bro, not today. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> not today, not today. Come back tomorrow. Time, time, time. I used to get some of that. Hey, what the fuck shit going on right I, now, little bro? It ain't it, it ain't it. Hey, no disrespect, we gambling. We gambling right now. We're not today. Good, crazy. So I'm playing a little bit of my game. We gambling, bro. Don't come back here today, bro. We smoking and gambling and everything. Future. But see, all back there doing that shit, we were doing that. That, right. that was so hard. Nigga might be gambling, and nigga be like, who hit that shit? <laughs> and I just hit that bit. You feel me? Hey, hey, hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You owe me some money, but tell me why you owe me some money. Because I seen it. I said, I seen it. What was my point was? Your point was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that no shit make you mad as hell. You lose the nigga start singing. Hey, bro, you gotta shut the fuck up. If only you take it, you know what I'm Tell the bitch back to sing it. Bet your money back. <laughs> that we used to do though. Gamble, gamble, same. I hate to be losing to a nigga that can sing. That's it, what? Hey. What? Niggas used to hate that I shit, boy. I used to not take a nigga money, but I would play it though. Ooh, that boy mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I ain't even do nigga like that. I just take money and just don't even. But my, my boy was like, who hit that bit? I remember you, sitting I'm out there just. Get you all the way at your, at your element. I'm trying nah, to get you bro. all the way out. Because I know if you got a roll, I got to get you all the way distracted so you can't get hot. <laughs> that's, boy, that's hilarious. Man, that's, that's an amazing story, though, bro. It's just inspiring. Just You know what I mean? Ain't no excuse for nobody. Ain't no excuse, nah, brother. Nah, nah. Like, the determination. Nigga just got a regular rotation. Go hit the barber shop. Hit the beauty supply store. Right. Then hit the goddamn Kroger. You know nigga what I mean? Nigga like, don't know the grind. Don't know the back shit, Man, that make a nigga appreciate saying. the music more. Like, nigga, I'm make a grind. grind. Nigga, you don't got a grind. Make that one. Wayfield singing every day. <laughs> make a grind. Make a grind. Make a grind. Like Create that. some shit, nigga. You know you can do, nigga. But have the talent. Don't just go out there and be having your head. Them niggas be out there. Yeah, yeah. Them niggas just take their head off. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, you ain't Jack Queen, bitch. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> hey, there's a nigga watching like, yeah, yeah, Jacquee did, I'ma try it. Hey, no. Man, I think all the homeless niggas out there that sound just like Michael Jackson, they was like, nigga, you think you gonna make it? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm homeless, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you stayed down, cause look, I saw the ground like. That's crazy. I used to see, when I knew, I was like, okay, when you blinked up with Joe DeBreeze. Yeah. I said, ooh, you know, I said all that shit. I was like, ooh, these going crazy. Then I saw you doing a little song with Chris Breezy. Yeah, yeah. I said, ooh. You didn't want to lick those creep reasons and yeah, you just yeah. start venturing off, doing your own shit. Yeah. And they were like, all right. He got he, something going. He, he gone. He yeah. gone. He don't need to do all the other shit. They, yeah. like, they know his name now. He yeah. up out of here. Yeah. But how I was working with like, nigga like Jody and Chris Breezy. 
Shit, well, Jody was fire. I remember being in the studio with Tomcat over there at the Block NT studio. Right. I remember sitting in there with Tom, because Tom was my boy, he's still my boy. I'm like 15. I remember Jody came in and he like, hey, little player. He like, I be seeing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, everything you're doing. He like, but when I get with you, I'm going to give you something you're going to be able to take with you. You know what I'm saying? He like, when I got them, put you on the song or something. This shit, you're going to be able to carry this shit with you. Like, this ain't going to be no shit that's just for now. This shit going to be forever. Right. So I remember um, he was working on Deuces. Jody was working on the Deuces, the Chris Brown remix, and I mm -hmm. just walked in. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was like, bro, you got to put me on that. You know, I love Chris Brown, bro. Right. Like, you got to put me on this shit. I'm feeling like, nigga, don't try to leave me out. Right, right, you right, feel right, me? Right, I'm right. like, this my shot. So he was like, I'll put you on the player. That way he's always calling me a little player. If I put you on a little player, so goddamn, he put me on it. Immediately, we shot the video the same night because our boy was just trying to shoot videos. So right. he had the camera. Yeah, the yeah, he like, shit, I'm going to shoot the video right now. Right. Tom, <coughs> same nigga, was the engineer. Tom was like, I'm going to shoot the video. Shot the video, me and Jody put that shit out. Next thing you know, they start playing this shit on V103 and shit. Yes, we'll be in the car and shit. Jody be like, we'll be at the studio outside. You know how you had a car crunk up, just still listen to the radio. This mm -hmm. one niggas used to really play the radio and shit. That shit will come on, you feel me? And they be like, what? Like, boy, that shit on the radio, but we ain't tell nobody to do that shit. Right. Nigga, I remember being in school, Wanda Smith called me, and they got swell. I was in lunch. This back when you could have your phones in school. Right. I remember my phone ringing. I'm like, damn, Wanda Smith called me. I'm in the 10th grade. I remember I was putting my head on the shit, because I'm like, I gotta pick the shit up. Right. She like, hey, boy, you heard that thing on the radio this morning? I'm like, what? She like, that dude? So I'm like, oh, hey, y'all did. Because we used to listen to you on the three on the way to school. Right. I heard, I'm like, hey, y'all heard it. She was like, man, we gonna keep playing it. V103 ended up just blowing the shit up. Then after that, I started getting sh little shows and shit. Facts. Like, just little shit, like probably like $500 right. and shit like that. Got them going to these little countries and shit, but people would be like, well, I know you from that Jody Breeze shit. Like, I know you from that. And right. that, just, that shit just started growing. And then, you know, when I got with Chris, I got with Chris out of high school, I made a song called Girls Love Rihanna. I had remixed Drake's Girl Love Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And um, Chris had heard it. I got a phone call. I was in the studio, this one I was still fucking with Fly at TIG, I'm on Metropolitan. I get a call, somebody like, shit, Chris Brown, I'm on the phone. I'm like, shit, y'all nigga lying. Right. You feel me? I'm like, y'all nigga lying, bro, you feel me? Yeah. So I remember I get on the phone, and then it's Hood. Hoodie like, hey, shit, because I had seen him at Luda Day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He like, hey, I just heard that girls love Rihanna. Shit, Chris like it, we gonna bring you to L.A. And you gonna write some records for Chris. It was supposed to be like, I'm gonna write some shit for Chris Brown. Right. I'm like, all right, bet. They was like, Chris, wanna talk to you right quick. I'm like, bet. I mean, he got on the phone, he was like, hey, what up, little bro? I'm like, oh shit, it's Chris Brown, cause you know, I know his voice. Right, 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 right. I'm like, oh shit, you <laughs> feel I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. Go, go. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, what's up, bro? I, I told a nigga, take a picture of me. I'm like, take a picture of it. Me and my cousin right on the phone, like, take a picture. I still got a picture. I'm talking, bro. He like, yeah, bro, we're gonna bring you out here to LA. Goddamn, you, you out of school, right? I'm like, hell yeah, I just graduated and shit. You feel me? He like, all right, shit, well, we gonna get the information. Uh, Hood gonna get with your mom and them, and you feel me? We gonna get you out here. Flew me out there, bro. I remember the first day I flew to LA. I flew by myself, too. I remember I went and bought the LA t-shirt, the fucking overalls, right. the fucking snapback. Right, you right. feel me? You feel me? I went and bought all that shit. <laughs> now I had on them fucking, uh, I had on them, them Reebok shacks, the ones, the, the black and white ones, the hard ones, mm -hmm. not the, know you know what I'm talking about? about. Mm -hmm. So I remember I, um, oh, Nah, not the Walmart jump. <laughs> Nigga, I remember I'm at the airport. Like, now, you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, the, 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 the hard like, Yeah. Like, nah, nah, not two, like, mom. Them other ones. Yeah. When well, you with Reeboks. Them, them black and white Reeboks. Them bitches were hard.
20th. Where we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Man, to the hoop. The KFC Yum Center. We ain't got no KFC yet. But it's going to be at the Yum Center. Is it, is is it Louisville it? or Louisville? It's Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, definitely Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. No cap. Louisville. It's Louisville. Louisville. They nine in the back. I need KFC to bring us some chicken, bro. Is that close to the uh, Kentucky Derby? It's in Kentucky. I mean, but is it close to the day that we're going to be there? Hey, man, fuck all that. Bring me some bluegrass. For real. Is Bubba Johnson going to be there? Bubba Johnson? Yeah. That nigga. Bubba Johnson ride horses? He the NASCAR. Ken Kentucky, I thought that was a car. No, nigga, that's. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, come to the show. Come to the show a little bit. Bring a horn. Ignore what he said. Yeah. Ah! You come, you know what I mean? That's a smash car, girl? Yeah. I thought the kid take it there with the car. No, that's. Ah! <laughs> that's the Daytona 500. Nigga, nigga. Derby. Ain't nobody told me. That's why I won't take you no fucking way. Hey, man, get, get your tickets May 20th, KFC Yum Center. Shit, take me to the horses then, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she got that yum, man. She got that yum. I always thought the kid taking derby was a horse, I mean, with a car. So I remember, um, you got nigga, I'm in, I'm in LAX, waiting for them boys to come get me. So I probably stay in the airport like three hours. But these niggas, ain't picking, up, these niggas ain't picking up the phone either. So I'm like, damn, man, these niggas, this, it was too good to be true. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm like, too good to be true. I remember I walked to buy me a charge in the airport. Then boom, Hood called me like, hey, we outside. Went outside, got in the car. It was in a, they picked me up in a Range Rover. It was him and G-Rob, Chris Cousin. And I remember he was like, um, this Chris Cousin, I knew it was his cousin because he looked just like him. He was like, man, we're going to take you to the house. Chris at the house, he got studio tonight, but we're going to bring you with us. Uh, I told you the LA traffic crazy. That's why it took us a long time. Pulled up to the crib, all Chris' cars was just fucking on the street. So I knew I was at his crib. Right, right, right. I remember I get out of the car, the nigga in the fucking garage. So I'm thinking, like, you know, I don't know. You know, this, you this, don't this, know what to say. Yeah, I'm just pacing myself. I don't me, do so, yeah, I don't want to overdo nothing. I'm keeping it real. I ain't trying to do nothing. So right. I pull up with Hood and shit. So shit, everybody like, shit, what's up, what's up, little bro? Then Chris turned around, he like, oh shit, what's up, Jacquees? Then he went back doing this shit. I was like, oh shit, that nigga know me for real. I remember, I remember I hit the group message like, bro, this nigga Chris Brown know me, bro. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, this nigga know who I am, bro. You feel me? And I remember that same night we went to go edit him and Nicki Minaj video. They had a song. And um, I remember just the next day we got in the studio and Hood was telling me like, uh, now when we in the studio, he was like, go push the button. He like, when that nigga go in the booth, push, push the button and tell the nigga to do something. I'm like, bro, I can't tell Chris Brown what to do, bro. Mm, so they They're training like, you. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, I can't tell the nigga what to do. So he like, bro, tell that nigga something. Goddamn, that's why you came out here. Right. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I got enough balls to get up and do it. I just fucked around and stood up and like, choo. I like, bro, say this. Goddamn, I gave him a run. He like, oh, that's your heart. I bet. I like, oh shit, I need to say this shit. He like, tell him to say something else. I like, <laughs> I like, hey, bro. I like, hey, bro, say this. Goddamn, fool. Goddamn. He like, oh, that's hard as fuck. You feel me? Then the next thing, I was like, hey, bro. Then he was like, bro, you know what, bro? He like, bro, I'm gonna just put you on it. You feel me? Then he Ooh. said, then, then he said my name. Got down like, baby, I need y'all quiz. I was looking at hood like, bro, this nigga done said my name in the song. <laughs> then next thing you know, we get on the song, then we drop it on my 19 project. And we really had finesse somewhere. It was like Chris Brown was supposed to be like the executive producer, but I was telling him like, bro, let me put your name on my project I'm finna drop to just make it look crazy. We had them mm -hmm. formed a relationship so quick. That he was just like, bet, look, bro, whatever yeah. you want to do. Yeah, you know, I'm, like I'm standing at the crib with him. Right. You got to think, I'm 18, like, fresh off being the biggest Chris Brown fan in the hood. Right. Straight to in the crib with him. <laughs> straight to, my pop. Straight right. to going on TMZ in the car with him. Straight to flying to Houston, flying to Hawaii. Private jets, goddamn. Niggas showed me so much in the game, like, early, before I had a deal, before cash money, before all that shit. That's why we so close, like. Right. That's like my big brother, like, you notice, like, whenever they try to get him to say some bullshit about me, the King R&B shit, he always be like, nah, I know what little brother mean. Because right. I came up right under him, you right, know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, so right. it's different, like, it's a whole different vibe. Like, it's like. Respect both ways. Yeah, and that's my brother, for real. Right, like, right. I'm talking about, like, around his mama, around his kids, right. like. Like, nigga, I can knock on Chris Doe now. I ain't even got a call. I'm outside. Oh, shit, your room was stellar, bro. Boom. Right. Go in the refrigerator. You big when you can go in the nigga refrigerator. Right. Go in the pantry. Goddamn. Do whatever. He, he, he opened shit. the house up to you before. I, with you. I just text bro this shit. Like, bro, we 10 years in. Like, damn, they 10 years already. Like, that shit crazy. Like, I text that nigga lost that shit the other day. In response. <laughs> 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 you said that 10 years. You 
Very sad. I ain't respond, but yeah, bro. Oh, you got that nigga number six. I mean, fuck back. I hate you, bro. Little nigga said, "Hey, Jesus, yeah, bro. That's just what it was." Hey, Jesus, yeah, bro. That's just what it was. Hey, Jesus, yeah, bro. That's just what it was. That's it. Now that nigga low down, you see how you was going through the story and you see how people make connections for you there. Put you in touch with the right motherfuckers and shit. Yeah, Believe man. in you and shit. Right. And nah, for yeah, real. That nigga, if it, is, if it was up to him, none of that shit would have happened. He wouldn't have gave you the phone. He can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Left his ass at the airport. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. the <laughs> yeah. Left his ass at the airport. <laughs> Yeah, let me holler. Nah, nah, let me tell you, bro. Let me put you in touch with me. You would have still been at Wayfield fucking with them. <laughs> he wouldn't have plugged you in with no goddamn body. Yeah, sir. But nigga, he don't help nobody. I know that's your first song off the album, but what's your favorite? You favorite? see what I'm saying? He pulled the shit. Gotta get him off What's your favorite song? Well, nah, but see, he's talking about the real relationship, too. The real relationship. That was a real relationship. Yeah. 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 Nigga don't know that, 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 that Chris is a real one for real, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to real one. Right. And my brother. Yeah. He's not selfish. allowed to open niggas' pantries. Because he ain't nah, selfish. <laughs> you gotta share. No cap. Why they push that hard over there with you, bro? Because that nigga right there. Hate that nigga. He blew. <laughs> Man, no, hey, haters are strong, bro. <laughs> you we just had a disagree. You ain't here. Oh, when you walk out, he's like, that fat fucker. <laughs> Why you tell him? I'm like, God damn. It, it was just hurt my heart. Every time you said it, I'm like, ah. Oh, don't say it to me. Say it to somebody else. Man. Why you tell him? You like, why, why you ain't never told him? I don't know nigga hear bad news. But when he tell me, I be like, this the, this the man. I man. keep believing that nigga your friend. You don't know how many podcasts the nigga was on. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you fat fucker. <laughs> oh, when they asked him about the 85 fat Then you crazy. I bring like, that shit up. Bro, nigga. That nigga said, yeah, them my little homies. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the clip. <laughs> I ain't gonna believe it till I see the clip, he boy. He said, we his little homies. Oh, don't go for that, Damn, bro, we your little homies. <laughs> Oh, you a low-down oh, down 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 to see your ass a boy, you know. <laughs> Got me you choking on the reefer. That's how low-down it is, man. For real, bro. Bro. You don't know this Let nigga, go man. Ahead and make but I'm glad you said it the way you said it, because he needed to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, from somebody else. You, Type shit. Shit. you know what I mean? Just make it full circle, though. It's just, just watch who you be around. Hey. You can't bring everybody around good shit. Nah, for sure that. You done Believe learned it. that. Believe it. What you also a real nigga, like I see you keep niggas who you been with for a long time. Like when you fuck with me and you put me on tour. I said, this nigga got hit home, boy. <laughs> on segment on tour. I'm talking about they popping it. Like, like, they popping it. They go out there, they popping it. Where it's like now, yeah, you are real able to control too. what's going on. Exactly. You can tell these is real friends. Just when I seen that motherfucker right there, I was like, oh, that ain't, that's his real partner. I mean, he's real partner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So how did you explain to your day ones who kind of like in the field that you in to be like, hold up, I can't do it right now, but when it's time, I got you. I mean, cause you gotta think, see, the difference with them, and I respect all my all my brothers' crafts and shit, everything they do, you know what I'm saying? Cause right. they, they got dreams and shit too. But the difference between me and them is this something that I always wanted to do. Right. Like this is what's my plan A, period. Right. Like ever since they knew me, I wanted to be a singer. It wasn't like that nigga wanted to do something else. That nigga wanted to play football and he wanted to sing. You know what I'm saying? The whole time he was playing football, he was singing. So that's the difference. They 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 know like. Let's, let's push forward to make whatever Kui want to happen come true. And we know if we get Kui the way he need to be, that he gonna pull us up. Cause that's all a nigga ever did. You know what right. I mean? No. When right. did you realize, like you said, that your team believed in you like that? To push you to the next My level? My friends, they yeah. won. They won. Always supporting everything I did. Like, always there. Like, that's what I mean, back there in the talent show shit. Back there in Luda Day, like, when niggas ain't even moving like that, but your folks rocking, like, you know, just showing that support, wearing the t-shirts, passing this shit out. Like, nigga, I remember when they used to have a scream tour, I used to be like 16, I used to always want to be on that shit. Like, man, I want to be on that shit. But since they ain't let me on that shit, I'm like, all right, bet. Whenever they come to the Fox, we gonna tag my shit. We gonna tag the Fox with all my mixtape posters. We gonna flood that bitch. Every mindless behavior poster you see, man, we snatching that shit. Put Jack Reese up there. All that shit. We used to just, take mild behavior posters I mean, down. We used to just like yeah. We damn. used to just be yeah. Appreciate it. We just used to be putting our own shit up. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like 
not hating on nobody, but trying to make a mark. Like, yeah. man, look at this little nigga, though. Take you feel me? Like, right. I know these folks on TV and shit, but check out Shout It. Right. We were just trying to make it. Right. You did that? We were just trying to make it. Like, you know, coming up, I used to fuck with all them. I still do. But I was just trying to get in. I felt like it was harder for me. Because even the way I used to look back then, people didn't used right. to accept it. Like, the R&B single had a certain appearance. Yeah, this little nigga with dreads, braces. Right. Like, who is that? You feel me? Like, they, they just wouldn't accept it. So I just had to push so hard and fight for who I was so, so bad. That's why I was like, I used to tell people, like, man, the only niggas I can sign to is cash money. You feel me? Because I'm like, I know these niggas ain't going to try to change who I am. Like, I know I ain't going to have to do nothing but just how beat you, me. How did you come to that conclusion? Because I just knew I used to just walk around with my dog, Orlando, dead guys, like, dude, the only niggas we can sign to is cash money. Like, that's going to make the most sense. I'm like, I'm a nigga, like, like, I'm not your average R&B dude. Right. Like, I got, like, I'm cut from a different cloth. Like, I want to be around some shit that represent, like, who I am. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if I meet Stunner, it's, I know the nigga going to sign me if he see me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I used to always tell people, like, that nigga, if I get in front of Birdman, I guarantee I'm going to get a deal. I've been telling niggas the that same shit too. And I don't even make music. He just gonna sign me to talk shit with him. He fuck with her too. Oh yeah, for sure. No, Why you know that nigga? What? Why you know I know? <laughs> what? How the hell did you get in touch with him though? Like how did see, you get in front of Birdman? Cause see, see, this back when. Me and Quan was making a lot of music. Mm. So shout out to Rich shout Homie. Yeah, big shout out to Rich Homie. That's my brother. Um, I remember me and Quan had just did a song called Soldier. Mm. And um. I remember we had just shot the video and shit too, but I'm riding with my manager Jonathan. I'm like, man, Quan just got with Rich Gay. Like him and Thug over there, that, that shit like finna go up. Like mm -hmm. I need to get in there shit. I'm like, I'm like, and like my shit, like, I'm like, we just on this level. I'm like, niggas getting signed, going on TV. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I just met this nigga August, this nigga August on TV. You know, I'm just naming different artists. Like, man, these niggas getting signed, Jonathan, they go on TV. I'm like, bro, we gotta figure something out. So I remember, I'm like, man, call Corey. That's Corey's daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, call Corey right quick, bro. Like, goddamn, let's see, like, what he don't. Corey didn't pick up for Jonathan. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, give me Corey a number. Like, Let me try to call this nigga. I wasn't trying to do it in front of my manager, but I'm like, man, we got to figure something out. Right now. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people will feel disrespected, but I'm telling him in his face, like, bro, we got to do something else. Like we got to add fight. something to the team. Mm -hmm. So, boom, I call Corey. He pick up. I'm like, hey, what's up, Corey? I'm like, man, I see what y'all doing over there. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get with Rich Gang. Right. I'm trying to get with Birdman. He was like, I'm with Birdman right now. I was like, uh, he was like, uh, send me that song you and Corn just did. I was like, bet. Hung up the phone, I sent him Soldier. He called me back like, hey, didn't y'all just shoot the video? Hey, send me the video. I was like, bet. Third call, Birdman. He was like, hey, nephew, I'm going to put you down. He was like, uh, yeah, I don't need trip. He was like, I'm gonna put y'all the way down. He like, man, I just seen. He was like, he was like, he was like, this shit great. He was like, man, I just seen that video with you and the boy. He was like, man, in about three days, man, I'm gonna be back down there, man. Come fuck with me. I was like, bet. Bro, I swear, I got my eyes slick, got watery fuck. I was like, bro, I just, I just said that shit, and then that just. Right. But that's how I did my whole life, bro. I remember Stunner came down here. And uh, me and Corey went down there. I remember I got on the bus. It was him and Hot Boy. Hot Boy was already in the front. Stunner came from the back. I was sitting like right here in the thing. He sat in front of me like Carlos. And he just sat in front of me. He was just looking at me. Say play, boy. He, he, was, he was looking like that, but he didn't say shit, though. <laughs> but he was looking just like that, doing that shit. <laughs> looking just like you, bro, I swear. Then that nigga looked at me low, and that nigga said, oh, yeah, we about to do this shit for real. That nigga said, we gonna do this shit for real. That nigga said, bro, I can't believe you still out here, bro. Mm. He was like, I can't believe you still out here, bro. Like, he was like, T.I. ain't want to sign you, nigga. Like, I can't believe them niggas ain't signed y'all. Like, G's ain't signed you. He just couldn't believe, like, none of the other niggas that was doing stuff out here was just letting us run around free out here like that. Mm -hmm. He was like, bro, I can't believe a nigga ain't signed you, bro. I'll never forget, I was on 85. He was like, nephew, we just going to pay everybody back with success. He was like, bro, I fuck with you. He was like, I see some shit in you. He was like, see, you got it. He was mm -hmm. like, these niggas just can't see it, but you really got it. He was like, we just going to pay these niggas back with success. We ain't going to be rude to these niggas. We ain't going to goddamn get in their way. We ain't going to do nothing to these niggas. Like, we ain't going to bad talk these niggas, nothing. We just going to show them the success, and with the success, niggas going to be thinking, like, damn. And that's just what we did. Stunner always believed in me, like, always. He was always there, like, always on some shit. Like, you got to think, mm -hmm. Stunner pulled the tour bus up in the hood one day. He done pulled that bitch to my house before, <laughs> like... 
You know what I'm saying? He just done did shit that other niggas ain't did and just believe it. Like, I always tell people, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be with no other label. Right. Just because I know how this shit work. You right, know what I'm right, saying? It's right. like... You done been through too many I weeks. just see how this shit work with other people, like my peers. I'm like, nah, I'll stay with, with us because yeah. our shit more like family. You feel me? It's like, nah, I'm going to drop when I feel like it. Right, and you it's creative me? control. Yeah. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Uh -huh. In Palestine. C Columbus. It's Columbus. Yeah. Pa the, what was it? The yeah. Popeye's Theater? Uh, oh, Palace. I thought it was the Palace Theater and the Popeye's Theater. We going to the <laughs> Palace Theater. Yep. May 21st. Columbus, Not planned. Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Bow Wow yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, and we going to shop in the Eastland Mall. No okay. cap. I'm, I'm going. A little Bow Wow. You just don't know me when you move so fast. Hey, I got the flow. I'm gonna make all the money. Okay. Uh, I'm not uh, doing this, uh, Bow Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, you boys said, Bow Wow gonna pull up for me. Hey, you you too. Too. hey he gonna pull up for me. All the way. <laughs> Get your tickets, Slim. May 21st, no Columbus, Ohio, Palace Theater. You remember that nigga, you remember that nigga did this shit in the, in the camera? <laughs> 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 Nigga, June 4th, fuck nigga. you talking about? Oakland Arena, nigga. Yeah, nigga. June 4th, three-headed monster tour on Cetus. Nigga on, nigga, hey. nigga on your baby, nigga. nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I ain't Hell never seen your baby. Hell Hell of niggas, Hell nigga. Hell out Hell there. niggas already got their The tickets, bitches nigga. already out there, Hell nigga. Hella, Hella bitches. Hella bitches, nigga. nigga. Not few, Hella but a hella. Hella. I ain't nigga. never seen hella. Nigga on the tail. It's gonna be hella bitches. Hell my mama, nigga. Oh my mom. 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 Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Scents Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L O U S, that's Los, and get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla, pineapple sage, which is my favorite, Egyptian amber, all types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. Hey, yeah, Stunner ain't never trying to control what I do. He always tell me, like, bro, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. He always tell me, like, bro, your shit like soul food, bro. Like, niggas need that queen shit. Like, like the R&B shit you make, bro. He like this shit ain't like this shit like soul food, nigga. This shit ain't like California. This shit ain't like no disrespect to that, but he like this shit just like here. Right. Like South. yeah, this shit just like feel like some nigga shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? But it just feel good, like it could cross over. 
So that's why I always stay. That's me how good. I feel about this fucking show right here. This shit feel good, huh? Yeah. It's some nigga shit, but it could cross over. It could cross over. <laughs> it could cross over. <laughs> yeah. I like the potential in this motherfucker. I don't, that's why I look, look at this shit. Look how Marvin Gaye looking at us. Like, I can't believe you niggas is still out here. Yeah. They probably been bought us some money and some hey. liquor. Some Lamborghinis and some bitches. I talked to a nigga about some, some liquor, too. See, we'll be drunk as if this motherfucker turned into a whole nother show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got called over door. I got nigga hey, it up. I'm already, come on now. No you know I'm already in motion. Say no more. Yeah, yeah. So who was your favorite artist that you ever worked with? That you were like... Who you want to work with? That too, but I, it was like, nigga. Um, like you said, the Chris Brown was a moment. So like, I can't count, bro. Cause nah. that trained you, nigga. Cause that, that was my favorite. That trained nah, you. They don't, don't count. count. The right. family don't count. None of the family count. Well, they kind of counted, but they trained you yeah. for you to be like, nigga, I'm in here working with this nigga. Oh yeah, facts. I right. like a lot. But I right. guess after Chris, I think the next artist that I got in with, where I was like, this shit cold. Probably Nipsey. Mm. Probably Nip. Got to tell that story. Rest yeah, in I peace, remember. Nip. Yeah, uh, rest in peace, Nip. For sure, Nipsey. That was my dog. For real, for real. I met Nip. First time when I was like 19, I met him at South by Southwest real quick. Right. He just got up, dapped me up, said some little shit in my ear right quick, boom. But then after I started, you know, getting into this game more and more, you know, certain people reach out to you like, such such fuck with you, such such fuck with you. Right. His boy J-Rock was him, like, that boy Nipsey love you. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. You feel me? That boy Nipsey love you, boy. Like, had at the club, nigga, that's his favorite song. He like, nigga, he loved this song. They used to send me videos and nip in the club, just dancing to that shit if it came on. Mm -hmm. and I what remember song? What song? At the club. You know, oh, at the, the club. club. Okay, yeah. yep. So um, I remember he was here in Atlanta one time. No, I was in Cali. I went to Cali. He was in there with Karen Silver and shit, talking business. I got all this shit on camera. I used to record everything. I still do. He was like, Jacquees, boy, I love your R&B shit, because your shit just like... Yo shit just got that feeling, cuz. Like, it's just, it's just like some shit you could ride to. Like, he was just telling me all that shit. He like, man, I got some producers in the back. You need to work with them. And like, I'm finna introduce you to these niggas, cuz. <laughs> he very took me to the back, introduced me to them, everybody. I met them boys. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we worked before, but I'm pretty sure they probably sent me some beats and shit. And um, I remember he was in the, he was in the A one day. And J-Rock hit me like, hey, me and Nipsey over here at uh Patchwork. I'm like, man, I'm across the street at 11th Street, bro. I'm like, I'm working on some shit, bro. Y'all boys pull up on me, you feel me? So he's like, all right, little nigga. This nigga bust through the door. What's up, homie? I remember Nipsey busted through that bitch. Big as hell, big ass jacket on. He came through that bitch like, what's up, homie? I'm like, damn, what's up, bitch, bro? You feel me? I'm like, damn, you came to fuck with me for real. Hey, I told y'all I was gonna come fuck with you. He's like, what's the beat and shit? Boom, my boy came Major was in there. We had this Faith Evans sample, the I Remember sample. We pulled that bitch up. We working on that shit. I remember Nipsey went right shit down. He was just vibing. And I remember I ain't want to record the nigga, but he started recording me. I'm like, oh shit, I'm pulling my camera out. Yeah, you feel right, me? Right, right. He started recording me and shit. I'm like, please record this nigga. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So we in there vibing. But the whole time I ain't seeing him. Like, it's like he not even paying attention to the beat. Like, he vibing, but he ain't writing shit down, pulling out his phone, mm -hmm. like, to write shit or nothing. He just recording and just kicking it. So he like, shit, I'm ready, cuz. And they go in the booth. And just start rapping like all the way through. You know, most niggas going to be like 85 South, all right, punch, all right, come back. Let me do the next line. That nigga just went all the way through the verse. I'm like, damn. I remember like, I remember like, bro, this nigga, I'm like, J-Rock, this nigga don't rap. That nigga just, how the fuck he do that? Right. You feel me? I'm like, I ain't never seen a nigga just do his whole verse like that. You feel me? So I remember he was like, you know, he kept running, he kept running it. He did it again. And I don't remember he came with a booth. I'm like, damn, bro, that's hard. Right. I'm like, I ain't never seen nobody do no shit like that, bro. He like, yeah, yeah, bro, you know, that's just how I be doing my shit. But then he had to leave. He was like, I'm gonna come back and do the second verse. He was like, just send it to me, you feel me? We could just got them do it like that. Right. I remember last time I talked to him, um, I think after that he called me from his neighborhood one time, because when I dropped Trip, he was fucking with that. And they called me from his neighborhood one time. Everybody was outside. Everybody was outside listening to my shit. I was on FaceTime, I got the screenshot. The whole fucking neighborhood. And I'm right, I hit him back on some shit. Like, bro, you gotta finish the verse. But he was in the barber chair getting the shape up. So, you know, you get your mustache lined up, you can't move your mouth and shit. So he was like, you know, let me know, like, guys, and he takes me, like, John, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the verse and shit. You feel me? Ooh, I got you. And then that's that's probably like the last time I talked to him. Shit. Yeah. That was another dope, dope experience though, like. 
Cause I'm just like, I know what a nigga mean to the world and shit. Right. You feel me? It's just like, I'm glad I got to get that opportunity. You feel me? Right. Like on some shit like that. I done had some, a lot of great dope, dope shit. Like, I done been around a whole lot of shit. Well, you impersonate people well, too, though. <laughs> right. you yeah. got damn. People say that about me, bro. <laughs> I probably could be impersonating. I wonder what nah, he be saying about, 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 about me, about how the hell. Hey. Ooh, they like, he's no, he's not like, 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 he's <laughs> I ain't gonna act like I don't fuck with y'all dudes fuck with it. <laughs> Industry niggas. You got to get beat on this. Yeah, everybody here can do that. Nah, nah, nah. He's a decent motherfucker at times. You know, he's just got a lot of fucked up ways, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for for sure, dog, man. Oh, yeah. Damn right. I see you down punching nigga at the comedy club. For real? Yeah. I ain't instigated. Hey, I'm talking about it on camera. I don't trust him. Man, that nigga ain't gonna do shit. I've seen so much shit happen lately. Let's just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just back like, oh. You know how nigga be you know how niggas just be laughing. I was like, man, that nigga keep pushing you when he laugh. I was like, I ain't noticed. He was like, man, you can't keep letting nigga try you like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, bro, hey, no, I'm like, real, don't let the nigga keep pushing you. I was getting defended. I was getting defended. I was like, after the first, I know, after like the third, like little nub, I'm like, my boy don't even know he getting, he getting nub. <laughs> I said, now, nah, let me holler at you. I said, hey, she buddy, man, buddy touching you. I'm telling you, it's a little disrespectful to me. <laughs> but if you like it, that cool. But just pay attention when you do that. I'm trying. He said, you think so? I said, I know so. But I'm going to be right here, whatever you want to do. My eyes and everything. The nigga did exactly what I said. Damn, look at me. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga went on top. <laughs> 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 I knew it out. Nigga, you good with me? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Well, I, I, went, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even notice this shit. I was like, after that, I was like, fly, man, that nigga was chilling, bro. Nah, cause, nigga, cause you know, now I've been roasting nigga. Like, now when a nigga, like, if he roast you, and he can tell that you get mad, he keep going. Oh, he so like, like buddy was like laughing, shit. but like, he was like, ha, 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 <laughs> I don't like that. Nah, let me holler at you. The nigga getting free hits on you. You need to be paying attention. You sizing you up. He said, you think so? I'm like, nigga. You keep doing you and just pay attention. That nigga did it again. That nigga, that nigga, nah, look at me. I was like, nigga. That nigga went on top. Yeah, I was like, oh. That boy got, that boy got ball. Man, I'm that. He's stupid, nigga. That nigga's stupid. Sometimes bro. you got to, man. No, bro, but it wasn't even for that, bro. It ain't have to be that. That nigga was chilling, bro. You felt bad after? No. I hope not. <laughs> nah, I ain't feel bad, but I knew he was chilling after because he ain't do nothing. He ain't never come back to the club, oh, man. Now I be, man, now I'm typing the comedian, man. You don't come back to the club. You got a problem with that, ain't it right now? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, that nigga do Hey, I'm the problem solver. Ain't that right? No. You the baddest comedian around, boy. That's what I love you, bro. Don't leave it up. What you got going on? Don't leave it up. Don't leave it up. Must be two nails. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Well, damn, put it here, man. I'm gonna fuck with that. But you, you still didn't tell me what the favorite song on there? All of them, all of them, bro. Oh, it's all a, all they, all they, they saying this one, the no skip. One through, have been song, I think like 17. 17. Ooh. How do you go about picking the number? You know how niggas be like, just drop single, just drop single. Nah, what you give them this minute? You know what I mean? I always start with like, man, we gonna drop 12 songs or 11 songs. Mm. But then that shit just gets so hard. Then they might come back and be like, man, you need 15 on here. I already got three more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I try to start low. And you then they be like, they want to do that shit. Come back with the deluxe type. Oh, yeah, I'm finna do that. I'm finna drop, uh, so I'm finna drop, more. yeah, I'm finna drop two new songs on Valentine's Day. How do you do a deluxe? You just add music to yeah, it? Yeah, add music. Then I'm gonna drop some motion in March on it. Yeah. They keep coming back. Then I'm probably drop some more shit this summer. Like, I'm trying to drop another project, another album, some shit. Yeah, I mean, get down. I'm finna keep going. Just drop it. 
Yeah. Look, man. Well, that's good to be in that type of situation where you can just drop and motherfuckers ain't call you for like, hold on, why you sing me the song and all that? So you in a great Oh, now I still got to send that run. shit in to goddamn get cleared and do all the legal processes, but it's right. just a thing where they allow me to do it. Right. To put out this much music, you know, and be freely and creative. You send it to them, they make sure that the, 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 uh, the, the numbers and everything and the oh, yeah, CDI yeah. and all that shit, yeah, they, to, they get all that together. All the business handled. Everything. Huh. I just stay creative. Yeah, okay. now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's, just, not on Apple it's TV. just available directly where they sell apps. Or oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I know we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. The Roku the most everywhere. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did yeah. you know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, yeah. so you know, it's eight. You know, we get them all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free, what about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come year. invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We, sure did. we saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Got somebody to read every fucking comment. And the ugly. We'll see so you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure we hear you. We heard. We hear you. We went and did. We'll That's just get the fuck on out y'all way. Yep. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain with well, the rest of it. I that. think they should get 37 minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry yeah, we up. We just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you, you. Slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah, uh, let's just, uh, Go ahead and make sure, channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get 85. us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel 85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like the deep thrust? Go get it on that app. That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the yeah, app. Sports show. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teaches. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit look like right. this. But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. They didn't, on the app. E didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. 
<laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, oh man. Yeah, we got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right, it's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that you know they trying to have from you, Go to that. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com. Go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. $8.50, $8.99 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really $3, but adjusted for inflation is eight nine. Yeah. With low C. Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We're not about to keep working all this time for. Been for free. Uh, we are going on out, baby. <laughs> we are going on out. We on your way too, fly. On air. <laughs> <laughs>